also uh, I'm here with my friend Rob and uh, if you knew the channel I'm Todd and I don't know if you can see me we're on the freeway so far it's a good ride um, so you know we have a hard time in Ventura County at least in Oxnard you know to get good barbecue so um, we're gonna take a, a quick road trip well, actually a, a plane trip uh, we're gonna head on down to El Paso because we heard Texas got some really good barbecue so uh, come along for the trip and uh, it's gonna be interesting and uh, we'll see you at the airport <laughs> Traffic sucks. <laughs> so I don't think we mentioned it, but we're going to go to a place in East El Paso called Desert Oaks or Desert Oak Barbecue. And uh, I've heard a little bit about this place uh, and uh, very interested in trying it out. Um, I think it's worth the trip. And uh, they don't know we're coming, so we're just going to basically uh, surprise them and uh, check it out. Um, I've heard places like Franklin and Desert Oak used in the same sentence, so if it's that good, uh, yeah, we gotta go check it out. So, anyway, if we can ever get to the airport, that is. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this it? Watermelon? No, just a plain... Uh, I don't, dude, they I'll got, drink it. They, they, no, I haven't bought it yet. They've got like 20 I see it. <laughs> no, it's, I'm, it's looking at me, you know. <laughs> El Paso, we're going to Desert Oak Barbecue. Oh, okay. I've heard they have really good brisket. Oh, okay. It's West Texas, but I think they're doing it in the Central Texas style. Oh, okay. And uh, we've heard a lot about it. That's so good. me and Rob are uh, head that way. Okay. So you have, you're welcome to join us. Sure. Okay, yeah, I'll see how I feel. I haven't been feeling super good here in the last okay. night. And, I don't know. I think I've I don't know, it might be coming down or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes when I get to El Paso. Okay. It's kind of feel kind of running down the air. It's yeah. like, yeah, I'm down there. It's like the worst freaking time, you know. I'm stuck this, right? Hey. Thanks, guys. What's up, man? Let's go! We're going for barbecue. Barbecue! We should be on the ground in about uh, two hours from now. <laughs> so I'm in 16D. So this is Alex. Hey Alex is going to barbecue with us.
this little truck together. And we're gonna head out, get a car. This get a big be, car. Get a big car. So we got a couple of travelers here, Mike and Alex, and uh, there's Rob, <laughs> and uh, so we picked up quite a caravan. Now we're gonna head to the rental car place, and we're gonna head on over to Desert Oak Barbecue. Oh. All right, we flew a long way for this stuff. Better be good. <laughs> No, we're not gonna go off road. Do you want the Jeep? No. <laughs> this is bigger than this. Look at the Jeep, dude. It's weird, it's right there. Hola! <laughs> All right, we got a car. And uh, have you solved the mystery of the vibrating seat? I have not. So I... Rob's seat's vibrating. We're not too sure what it is. It's either you had a lot of fun last night before the trip <laughs> or uh, something wrong with the car. <laughs> so uh, it's yeah. just a vibration. So stay tuned for more. Are we good? I think you go left. You think we go left? Yeah. All right, GPS is updated. GPS is GPSing. B roll. B roll. So we arrived at uh, Desert Oak Barbecue. It's about uh, 1.50 in the afternoon. Just full disclosure, we actually uh, have never been here. We haven't called anybody. Uh, we haven't called Richard, the owner. Uh, so they don't know we're coming. We're just gonna go in there, order like anybody else does, and uh, sit down and, and have a nice lunch. And we'll tell you about it once we're done. Half a pound of your red brisket and yes, half a pound of the pork ribs. Sounds good. Just to go? For here. For here? Please. You getting the wet brisket? I am. Any you to you, sir? I don't know. What do you suggest? All your options are open. It's green and cheese rice down to the house right Oh, wow. Um, Wait, just, that's good. Just that's fine. Is that a half pound? Yes. Um, no, I'm good. Nice. Just, uh, just so you guys do sweet tea? Uh, yes, sir, we do. We have sweet tea right over there. I think we'll manage. Sweet. So, what kind of ribs are these? These are going to be our pork ribs, so they're the spare ribs. Nice. That looks really good. How are they cooked? I'm sorry? How are they cooked? They're cooked in the smoker as well. They put on, I want to say, about 11 at night and then take them off. 59? 8.30 in the morning. Nice. I'm going to get the identical order. Alright, sounds good. Oh, yeah. What kind of beer is that again? It's the Texas Lager. It's a Dead Beach Brewery from here in El Paso. Alright. Yeah. Gotta have that beer. Do you find something? Oh you yeah. Have? First impression? Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Amazing. I'm about to start mine now. That's good. Alright. Oh yeah. Look at that tag. Oh, that rib. Look at the crust on that freaking. That rib is just so perfect. 
I'm here with the uh, Mesta family, and uh, we're here in uh, Desert Oak Barbecue. Oh, there's Richard. There's Richard, the owner. We're going to be talking to him in a minute. And then we got the Mesta family here. Uh, we just had a delicious uh, lunch here, uh, like the one I, I finished. Oh, yeah. It's this is proof right here. I finished it all. Look, look Mom. I finished, <laughs> I finished every little bit. It's gone. So, anyway... Um, they're uh, just found out they're subscribers. Yeah. Yes, uh, Jacob here. So uh, uh, I'm going to send him the shirt uh, as soon as he comments down below what size he is. So I'm going to send him a shirt with your address. And uh, so if you see me out and about in town or you see Rob, you see us, flag us down, run us down, grab us. And if you say, hey, I'm a subscriber, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll send you a shirt. So. I don't know if any other okay. All right. Texas barbecue. Yeah. Texas tea. Yep. <laughs> so we got, a, we got a special treat. Richard is going to show us his uh, custom smoker. And uh, here's the kitchen. Come on back. It's windy. So we just flew in in a dust storm. We, we got down into... Uh, yeah. All right. Look at that. <laughs> so, really quick here, this is uh, Richard, and um, the owner of uh, Desert Oak Barbecue. And I guess you started here in this uh, trailer here. Huh? Yeah, this used to be our food truck. Okay. And now it's our, now it's our woodshed. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we outgrew it pretty Very quick. quickly, huh? Yeah. Uh huh. And so this is the uh, this is your baby right here, huh? Look this, at this. this is it. All right. So tell me about this. Uh, it took us about two years to build it. Um, a friend of mine put it together for me. I just gave him a sketch on a piece of paper. And <laughs> he just threw it together, and it, and it works. So uh, he's actually going to start our second one soon because we need to expand that. I heard you mention that with uh, uh, another channel, uh, <laughs> Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue, I yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah, he's um, a local guy. Yeah, he's a local guy. Um, so we were still thinking of doing a, a second location, and, and now come to California. It's been, <laughs> yeah, like California. Needs, we need some barbecue yeah, like this. Yeah. It's been getting really, really busy here at this location, so we're just gonna do what we can here with a second smoker mm -hmm. and just pack it in. Right. Okay. Oh, this is a beast. Fireball. So, how many gallons is this? That's a thousand. Thousand gallon barbecue. Oh, this is awesome. Right here. Can tell you what. This one. Oh right, my God! That so looks how, amazing. How many, how many briskets can you uh, fit in this? We could time? fit 30, but 30? we can't do it because we got to cook everything else, and the brisket takes so long that sure. it's not done by the time we have to cook all the other pieces. Right, so right. We can do up to 15. Right now we're doing 12. Okay. And uh, in order to have enough space to cook the rest of the menu, we, that's all we can do. Right, right. Well, we do turkey too, right? Yeah. Did you have this built locally? Yeah. Was it an old propane? It's an old propane tank, right? Yeah. 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 Thing's massive. Right. Right? That's yeah. awesome. And you got the uh, smokestack coming out here. Yeah, it's, it's a ten-inch smokestack. Ten-inch smokestack. And I understand your preferred uh, species of wood is post oak. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. And I also saw in that uh, Smoke of Joe's uh, interview with you that you go and get your your own wood. And, uh, no, I don't do that anymore. But anymore. You know, there's a local guy out here just outside of town that uh, that gets it. He, he buys it by the truck load and then he drops off a, a quarter a week. Uh, in the summertime, a quarter every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of work. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I see you got the tell true thermometers. Yeah. yeah, I gotta have that. Yeah. And uh, looking like about 260. -ish. Those look good, man. And, it's uh, really hard to keep it steady when it's windy like this. Yeah. 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 I'm not trying to get any of your uh, secrets of how you cook, but... Uh, there's no secrets. You can record whatever you want. Mm, Massive okay. firebox. <laughs> do, you, do you inject or is that... So really, your style is considered Central Texas style? Yeah. And and it's something... This is my first brisket, Central Texas style brisket. Oh, what would you think? Um, it, it's amazing. best. It's amazing. the best brisket I've ever had. Yeah. So that's it. We don't amazing. inject. It's, it's just... Uh, the brisket's just salt and pepper. It's pretty simple. And then, you know... Uh, Hour smoke bath. Um, it's all about fat rendering and, and uh, breaking down that connective tissue, right. and it, uh, it makes it tender and juicy. Um, 
Yeah, there's not much that goes into it. We, we never inject anything. That's I guess that's more of a competition thing. We don't do that here. Uh, your, your brisket is amazing. Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. No, we really... I told, I'm not eating all. I'm going to save this for later. <laughs> I don't know when we'll be back. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Yeah, we really appreciate you showing us. And, uh, so I understand you might uh, do a, a, a West location, West El Paso or uh, or Oxnard, California? Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. <Please. laughs> now, we've been thinking about doing a second location for a while. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't know when we're going to be able to. Um, we've been talking about it since we opened this one, mm -hmm. just because our West Siders complained about coming to the food truck. Oh. Back, yeah, back in the old days. Do you right. operate a food truck as well, or is you strictly uh, brick No, and we're strictly here brick and mortar. I had plans to re-equip the food truck or the trailer and and, uh, and deploy it, but we haven't mm -hmm. even gotten started on that yet. Wow. Good. And your place isn't really that big. I bet you get a hell of a line, huh? Or a lot just go out. They we just do. Take it to go. You know, during the lunch rush, we usually get a line or on Saturdays. Uh, sure. But um, we, you know, we <laughs> once you get to the counter, you're checking out in about three minutes. Right. Five minutes quick. for big orders. So we we've got a good system, so it works well. And by the time you sit down, you already have your food, so. People don't sit at the tables very long either, so it just, it just works. works. People do walk out when they see how big the line is. But, um, you know, if you're the regulars know that it's not as fast, and they're going to see it. Or sure, sure. sure. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate you showing us around and all of that good stuff. <laughs> it, it's worth the trip, uh, you know, whether you come from San Antonio, Albuquerque, L.A., or Alaska. Or the East Coast. Uh, Get yeah. here and have the barbecue. Yeah, it's so, amazing. Yeah, it's really good. So. Thanks again, Richard. Thanks. Thanks man. Appreciate, really appreciate it. it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Wow, look at the hole, man. Yeah, that's what, what kind of battle would the she said. have in there? Nothing at all, huh? Nice. That's oh, yeah, good. just a water pan. Look at that, Todd. Okay. Just a freaking water pan in there. Yeah, exactly. We're right there, man. Yeah, that's part of our base. I should have guessed when you said Oxnard. Yeah. <laughs> so Richard here is a veteran. He was a dental tech, and then uh, he got out as a CB. And uh, so and we're trying to push him to put one in the church. Go there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> church County. Grew up. Well, that's an end to a really fun adventure out here in El Paso. I want to thank Richard and all his crew at Desert Oak Barbecue uh, for the fantastic job um, smoking all that delicious meat and the ribs and the macaroni and cheese, the cold beer, everything that they had uh, going on there was on point. It was delicious. Uh, it's the best barbecue I've ever had. I'm going to say it right now. Uh, I've never had better barbecue than Richard's at Oak. Uh, so if you're ever in El Paso, um, even at, for a layover, I don't know what airline lays over in El Paso, but if you are, get out there, East El Paso, uh, get in there, uh, say hi to Richard, uh, get yourself some uh, barbecue because it is so good. Um, I imagine big things for Richard. I think he's going to go far. I'm no expert by all means, but I know good food when I taste it, and that, that stuff was good. So uh, anyway, um, you guys, uh, please like and share, subscribe, uh, give a shout out in the comments if you'd like, and a special thanks to Jacob Mesta and the Mesta family. We were sitting next to those folks at lunch. Great family, El Paso locals. Got a chance to talk to them a little bit. And uh, they, they recognize us from being on YouTube. So uh, out to Jacob. You can get a t-shirt. Just let us know how to contact you. And uh, for any of you guys ever see me in public and you're a subscriber, uh, you're going to have to catch me. You're going to have to say who you are, where you know me from. You get a free t-shirt if uh, that happens. So, uh, so good luck. At any rate, uh, peace out. We'll see you.